Ah, it's sad. I mean, you know, I took care of a lot of people, you know, that store. Like, a lot of people starting out in life. Yeah, you gotta tear down the old and put up the new, I guess. More condos in the city, just what we need. I'm heartbroken because it's <laughs> part of Toronto vanishing that'll never be replaced. We'll never see anything like it again. I think it's kind of amazing that, that people care this much about an old sign. I love it. I still come in through customs and the officers will say to me, you know, I got my first pair of shoes at Honest Dance or my mother bought her first frying pan there or I had my first winter coat and I sent things back to our relatives in, in the old country. So for all of us, it has different memories. This uh, country took a couple of people who had nothing and gave them a chance to make a living and more than that, you know, gave my family a chance to stand on their shoulders. So uh, it's it's more than a sign. It's, it really says that there's opportunity for all of us. We've had a lot of fun and it's a lot of good memories and good opportunity. And really without the store, I wouldn't be allowed to do all the things I do today in the theater. So it's a sign of permission, I, I, I think of it as. And I'm lucky, luckily, I have a place to put it. I have a wall that's big enough for 30 by 60 feet. So I, I'm hopeful and quite sure the city will give permission and will put it on Victoria Street. And I look forward to a year from now having a, a little event where we can see the sign go back up and be part of Toronto once more. Last chance I get to do this. Okay.